Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com and today we're going to do a video review on the all new Icon Air Model Full Face Helmet. Let's give you a nice 360. Just like I have with all of the most recent helmet releases, I have already ridden in this. So the review I'm going to give you today is one from the perspective of a user, someone who's actually had this helmet on and ridden in it. Start off with a note on sizing. I measure 58 centimeters on the money. Intermediate oval head form. I would say the shape of this is for the most part intermediate oval. It's going to fit most people great. I chose a size medium. It fit me exactly the way I like a medium to fit. Great fit with this helmet. The only comment I'm going to make, it's a little tighter on and off than I'm used to from Icon. They usually go on and off a little bit easier. That being said, I would compare this to say like a Shoei X12. That one, it, it kind of a little harder on and off, but man, when I get it on, it's perfect. The benefit behind that, behind the smaller opening here, is it makes the helmet a lot quieter. During the road test, I had vents open, vents closed, the whole deal, right? Evaluating comfort, airflow, stability, all those things. The helmet was really quiet with all the vents open or closed, which is nice because it moved a lot of air. One of the best ways to achieve that is to tighten up this opening down here, and they did that, and it was very effective on this helmet. That is really my personal preference. If you like your helmet to fit the way I just described, order your normal size. I think you'll get a good fit. If you prefer a little more comfort, a little more operating room, a little easier on and off, you may want to consider going up one size to achieve that type of fit. They are using a polycarbonate injection molded shell. DOT and ECE 2205 certified. Weight in a size medium was 3.55 pounds on our digital shipping scale, so it's nice and light. This helmet utilizes four shell sizes with five different EPSs. They also have variable thickness cheek pads and top pads. You can, if you need to, to further fine tune the fit of this helmet, choose some of those optional pads and kind of tune it, just like you can with an Arai or Shoei. This is the first time I've seen a helmet at this price point. Okay, and understand it begins under 200 as of today, and its graphics get just a little over and around the 250 mark. First time I've seen a price point helmet like that that offered that many different shell sizes and that many different EPS sizes. They do that to keep the exterior profile of the helmet as small as possible, which I think they did a nice job with here, and to really help dial in the fit. Ventilation, I told you, was really good, very, very happy. Field of vision, both from top to bottom and the periphery, great. Zero issues with that whatsoever. Noise was quiet, okay? Stability at speed, no issues. This is a good motorcycle helmet. I like the build quality, I like the performance, I love the fit. Okay, Icon is really the last few years, they've dialed these things in and they're knocking it out of the park on some of these helmets and this Armada is just going to be an extension of that. On the topic of ventilation, we have an intake vent here, up here in the brow, top of the helmet here in the super vent area. Extraction or exhaust vents here, here, and here. That is a ton of ventilation. I found it to be very effective. The shield mechanism on this helmet is all new, and the shield itself is all new as well for the Air Model. They're referring to it as the Icon Optics. It does not fit the older generation helmets. Only the Air Model, and I would imagine moving forward, they'll include some other possible new models in the future with this shield. It's got a nice lock down here at the bottom. Pull up. Easy to do, easy to undo, and it keeps the shield down during head checks and all that. Very nice. Brand new shield release mechanism. All you have to do is grab the trigger here and just simply pull back. It comes right off like so. Like that. Give you a quick look at it. If you want to zoom in there, Josh. Reinstallation is very easy. Okay? Essentially, all you have to do is get it in the upward most position like so and what you're going to do is this portion right here can you see that locating tab you need to slide that right in here like so 
Okay. Yeah, that kind of actually fell in there. So I would say all in all, they did a really nice job with this. And this is with a tinted shield with side plates. And it's normally harder to install with a tinted shield with the side plates because you can't see what you're doing. Okay, so easy on, easy off. They did a nice job. You see here, you pull back, it releases very easy. Like so. Let's go ahead and put this to the side and have a look at the interior. Removable, washable, replaceable, and tunable for fit. You can get different size cheek pads, top pads, all that if you feel the need to adjust it. Nice moisture wicking fabric. We have one, two, two snaps and some Velcro inside. And then from there, this retainer is pinched between the outer shell of the helmet and the inner EPS. They do a nice job with the snaps, the attachments, contour cut cheek pad, right? Very comfortable. The other side, nothing but a mirror image. Out it comes. Top pad, we have two snaps in the back. Grab the retainer here. And that is once again sandwiched in between the EPS of the helmet and the outer shell. And you can see they clearly are using mesh in all the areas where the vents are located and the channels in the EPS to allow for the airflow. Covered chin strap for comfort. D ring. Let's see if we can give you a look at. The EPS in this helmet, it's black, it's really hard to do. My brother will try and guide me here. How does that look? Better? Better. It's tough to see, but we have channels all through the EPS, very large intakes up here, right, at the super vent area. We have channels cut into the EPS here in the brow. This thing moves there, there is no doubt about it, and it moves a ton of it. While we're on the subject of moving air, I also for neglected to mention during the very beginning of the video, there are also vents right here in the chin, which can be turned on or off simply by sliding the vent closed or open here in the chin bar of the helmet. I apologize for missing that. What do I think? This is a hell of a lot of helmet, right? A lot of technology, great build quality, great performance all in a package that is going to be two, under 200 or right around 250 depending upon whether you're looking for a solid or a graphic. Okay? The only takeaway I, I could really throw out there is a little tighter on and off than, you know, than some folks with the Icon helmets may be used to, just a little bit. But boy, what that delivers is just a super quiet helmet when you get it on because it fits so well around the neck roll. Do I like it? I think you can tell by the sound of my voice, I really like it. These guys just keep pushing farther and farther with these helmets, and they're more than just a jacket company, right? For sure. They're a helmet company, and they're doing a damn good job of it. Their model is a fine example. I'm Brian Mann, sportbiketrackgear.com. This is the all-new Icon Air Model Full Face Helmet.